Hi everyone, welcome to the seventh training video. In this video, we will cover design code checking process and we will finally generate design code checking output in Excel. Okay, are you ready to check our beautiful bridge model? Let's go. Design code checking capabilities for steel, RC, which is reinforced concrete, and composite designs are embedded in Midas Civil. Among them, the latest updated design code for the US and Canada is highlighted in yellow. These are the design inputs that we need to type into Midas Civil in order to run the software. You don't need to input all the information, but you can select inputs that belongs or relative to your bridge model. Okay, let's check the design code on our bridge model. Please download a file from our website. We will use this file because of the material of our modeling file was based on Canadian code and ASHTO standard was used for moving load instead of ASHTO LRFD, which we will use for design code checking. So please download it, open the file, and open the file name training video 7 design code checking by double clicking it. Once you open the model file, please go to analysis tab from the main menu and click perform analysis and please wait since it may take a while. Mine took 32.52 seconds. How was yours? Once you are done, please go to structure tab from the main menu and go to composite bridge, click it and expand the Dropbox menu and click span information. Then you will see a pop-up window like this. Since the program does not acknowledge the intuitive information of the span and girder, the user should define the span information which contains the components of span and girder before you run any composite design code checking. I set this up in the model file to shorten your work time. But basically, you just need to define which elements are in which girders. If you click this each girders, if you look at the model file closely, then you can see which elements are under which girder name. Using this girder information, you can check design diagrams later. Once you checked it, please click close. And finally, let's go to design tab from the main menu. Okay, let's look from the left. Using the steel design on the left side, you can go check about your brace like standard AISC members. So feel free to take advantage of it. And if you happen to model the reinforced concrete members as the superstructure member, peer cap or peer member, then you can code check about them in the RC design. So just keep that in mind. But today we will focus on composite design. So let's click and expand the Dropbox menu. So let's click design parameters first. It shows code factors according to your design and which design parameters you want to look at. In our case, let's say we want to see everything except shear connectors, longitudinal stiffeners, and bearing stiffener. But these factors can be modified, and it's very useful when your DOT has different code factors. Click OK. Let's look at the second option, which is design material. This is very straightforward if you have a hybrid factor. You can simply check on hybrid factor and choose the material you want for flange and web independently. I'll click close, close. Okay, let's go to the third tab, which is load combination type. Click it. This model is formulated load combinations in accordance with Ashto. And then we were able to notice that before composite load component, after composite load component, and then wearing that load were separated in the wizard. And those components are applied to correct load factors. So in the load combination type, which is this window, we simply need to assign the load combination to the proper limit state check. But this, um, if you actually choose to automatically formulate your load combination using the automatic feature, which we did, this part is also taken care of automatically. Okay, let's click OK. Although we are not going to care about stiffener in this example, but let's look at it. So please expand it and click transfer stiffener. 
If happen to have considered transfer stiffener, you can input your bearing stiffener, also the regular transfer stiffener. Longitudinal stiffener is actually input in the section information portion. So keep that in mind. We'll click close. And we have another unique input for the design. Let's go to composite design again and click this unbraced length dot dot dot. So this is something that you probably won't able to find in a couple other conventional design software. However, might as simple as you all know, its basis is actually finite element analysis, meaning it's not just making the calculations based on the information. It's actually doing the finite element method and code checking in accordance to the FEA analysis output. So unique thing is we have to ensure the software what is the unbraced length of each girder member. In order to define it, I will actually go to this black space between main menu and the model window, right click it, and click this tree menu too. Then the tr second tree menu will be appear in the right side of your window. Then go to group tab from the second tree menu and double click SRC. Then do you see the all four girders are highlighted in the model window, right? From here, I will rotate bridge model a little bit and then I will click this LY. Once the box is highlighted in green, means I can choose a node um, from uh, the model window. I will click from a point of a brace to the next one. Same thing for LZ, which is literally unbraced length, and click apply. Since we selected our four girders before we define the unbraced length, this unbraced length is applied onto all girders. You can check it by click this dot 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 box. Then do you see the number? I will right click, close window, and I will also close this. And let's all go to composite design tab again and click design position. So basically this option, you can think of it very simply. You just have to designate the exact design position, meaning the elements that represent the girder. So simply for this one, you can select all the group members and click apply. Let's go to group tab from the second tree menu. Again, double click SRC to select all the girders and add this to the design position and check position should be I and J node meaning I is the starting node and J is the ending node and click apply. Once you're done, let's click this dot 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 to check the values and right click close window. So the entire girder elements are now updated as the design position. For any reason, if you want to eliminate and then only want to check about a certain part of your bridge model, you can do that. You can actually select partial area of the girder and check the design. Okay. And then this position for design output is about where you want to extract the detailed Excel report. I will come back to this part in a second. And then if you have any shear connector information, you can actually input the condition of the shear connector. What is the fatigue category? What is the pitch of your shear connector? What is the height of it, the diameter, the strength, and what are the spacing of the shear connector on, onto one girder? And how many do you have? So by providing this type of input, you can also code check about the shear. And the same goes for fatigue limit state. I actually input fatigue parameter into this model file. You can check it by clicking this dot 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 box. Once you check, please click close. So these are the design inputs. As you go one by one, you should be very clear. So once you're done, you can click design here. It's gonna take a little longer than a minute, but after the code checking is completed, it's going to enable the diagram, the table, and also the Excel report. My model completed the design check so let's go to composite design tab and go to design result diagram which is the last one so first there's a diagram so this graph represents strength capacity and demand just very simply so you can see the green line is actually the capacity line the red being the demand for it like i mentioned to you when we set the span information earlier about girders you can check results for each girder information type. 
You can check type of summary diagram about positive flexure strength limit check, negative flexure strength limit check, and shear check about in the strength limit state check. So basically, this is the easiest way to have a quick glance about this current status. I will click close and let's go to design result table. The tables are all listed in the design result table section. So when you go into this spend checking table, this is basically the total summary table. So when you open this, it's actually going to give you the table about each girder. Girder 1, girder 2, girder 3, and girder 4. In order to zoom the table, you can simply press the control key and roll your wheel button. So this is basically about the design salt for the strength limit flexure check, strength limit shear, and surface limit. This is where you can see the entire summary in one platform. But again, this is about the critical locations. So if you want to see other locations too, you can go to the detail on table. If you want to see like the detail information, you can see the table for strength and limit state, flexure check, shear check, service limit, fatigue, constructability, and constructability about the flexure. And also if you have specific shear, or other detailed formations, you can actually review the detail table in here. Let's say I want to check total checking. So I clicked it. I get a table like this, right? So I will close this. If I scroll down a little bit, I see a red highlighted lines. If I want to see them at the same position, I can do it by right click on the table and click this sorting dialog and move this check button to your key columns. So you see the check button is on at the bottom, I want to move it on the top, which means this table will be organized according to the check first. And then among the good checks, bad checks, they will organize them in order of element, part and positive negative formations. So I click sort and close it. Then if I move up a little bit, not good part first. In this way, you can review your data quickly by finding which element has the not good sign. If you want to look at the tabular format and graphical format at the same time, you can do that. Before I do it, I want to close some windows that I don't want to see anymore. And let's go to view tab from the main menu and click this tile horizontally. Then do you see two windows? I want to view the top view and I have not good sign at element red and six. So let's type on this blank 106 to find the element number 106. Enter it. Do you see the red light on this element on this girder? So basically, which means I have some not good sign on the exterior girder. In the same manner, you can check for other data values. For the detail extra report, let's say that we want to check about some specific locations. So basically, I want to extract a report that will give me the checking process at the locations where I got not good sign. I will just choose two elements, for example, which are elements 106 and 107. So if I type in this box 106 and 107, then as you can see, two elements are highlighted in red. Those locations are the elements that I want for detailed Excel report. So first, I will go to Design tab from the main menu again, span the Composite Design Dropbox menu, and click this position for design output. Then since I already select these two elements, um, if you d haven't done this, please do so by typing 106 and 107 and enter it. I want to see an output for I node and J node. So click this and click apply. You can check the position by clicking this dot 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 box again. So as you can see, I and J node for 106 and 107 are registered safely. Then I will go to composite design tab again. Click this Excel report dot dot dot. I will create a new file save as i will save this excel file and i will choose us unit click ok then i just have to wait for a minute or so to generate 
the report. Okay, so my design output is generated along the element 106 and 107. Let me make it bigger a little bit. Starting from the section properties, I see steel section, short-term composite section, and long-term composite section. Following lecture, positive moment, everything seems okay up to now. And another section properties for negative flexure, strength limit state, everything seems okay, service limit state. Constructability, it seems like concrete deck has not good sign on it. Here seems fine. It seems like another not good sign is coming from the fatigue limit state. By the way, all the calculation steps are written in the output. You can actually find these values up there, meaning the design process is not black boxed anymore. Please take your time to digest this output a little bit. Thank you for listening to the seventh video, the last video, which we cover the design code checking process of Midas Civil. How do you feel after watching all seven videos? Are you confident working on modeling, analysis, and design process in Midas Civil? I hope this video series helped you achieve feats of engineering. Thank you very much for listening all seven videos. I will miss you so much, but I have to say goodbye now. I will come back with other video series soon. I wish you the best. Have a fabulous day. Bye bye.